Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. I know, shocking, right? Not the first thing you think of when you think of TMNT, but it's the next installment in the NECA Toys TMNT X Universal Monsters line. Casey Jones as the Phantom, or the Phantom of the Opera, whatever you want to call him, but... Very nice artwork overall. The last one I need is, of course, Donnie as the Invisible Man, so he will hopefully be a coming soon. But the packaging on this, actually all the Universal Monster figures have been great. The enigmatic and operatic Man Behind the Mask. Bringing fear in hockey gear. The penalty box vigilante. Experience theatrical frights. Stalking under the stage. Slashing beneath the ice. Casey Jones as the Phantom. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. Love the illustrations, Daniel Horn, and of course, you have the barcode as well. Mine came from Target, but hopefully he'll be hitting store shelves soon. In true NECA fashion, as all the boxes usually do, they open and shut. As so, you get to see the figure and a nice photo of said figure. So, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, maybe do a little solo on the piano. This is a look at the brand new Team NT X Universal Monsters, Casey Jones as the Phantom of the Opera by NECA Toys. And while I got all you Andrew Lloyd Webbers here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. Now, if you haven't already, Please do consider subscribing, old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, here is the Phantom. All out of the packaging, comes with a number of different accessories. And I'll save you some time. It's actually a really cool figure, but let's talk about it in detail. Now, he does come with a ton of extra hands, fisted hands, weapon holding hands, He's even got a sweet pair of creepy hands, right? So he can skulk around the opera and uh, play his piano all weird-like, right? If need be. Nice selection of hands, except for one hiccup, but we'll get to that in just a few. He does, of course, come with a number of different weapons as true to Casey Jones, right? All the wrappings are nice on the hockey sticks. They all look great. The goalie stick... It's nicely done. Not too shabby at all. And then you have the goalie glove right here with a nice skull. Now, this is painted very nicely. It has a nice wash to it. Simply just pegs in. So basically, it's an extra hand if you really kind of consider it that way. Also, very reminiscent of the 2012 CGI Ninja Turtles, right? Especially with the face right there. That's a nice little nod, methinks. Then you have the other hockey glove right here. That's cool to see. Nice wash. Treat it as you would. Just another extra bonus hand to attach. But that's very cool. You're not going to be able to hold much. But still, it's got a nice wash and sculpt. Now, he does come with a skull head. It's a nice skull. Nicely painted. Very creepy. And if you notice... Yeah, you could totally peg it in onto the head joint. And I love the way that this looks because it kind of gives him a very different creepy look like he's kind of a Casey Jones Grim Reaper. So I definitely dig this look. It's a nice little touch, although I would have loved if you could have moved the jaw. I think that that would have been a nice little extra touch. But I like the creepy white eyes that they got amidst the black in there. It kind of follows you around. But this particular head portrait is awesome. This is very nicely done. Sinister, weird, nice wash to the hair. You've got the belt for the mask, little buckles right there, a little tuft of hair. Looks like this mask could come off. No, it's glued on there, so it won't be coming off anytime soon. But dang it all, when you get him all set up and posed out, that is an excellent head portrait. This looks so much better in hand. I'm just going to tell you right now, but I love the eyes on that. Crazy eye, right? But the actual figure itself, especially with this head portrait, in true phantom fashion, right? A little piece of the, the broken mask. You can see his hideously scarred face. But he is doing the McFarlane side eye. But that's okay. The other one is full straight on. Now, he does have a mixture of, let's say, Victorian clothing. He's got some football gear. He's got some hockey pads. He's got some knee pads, some hockey socks. And then he has the shoes and everything is nicely detailed nicely worn it's creepy it's weird it's very befitting of this line i love what they did with the socks right there even down to let's say his cleated boots 
or maybe he broke off the ice skates for the boots. They certainly do look like 1800s football gear. So I'm gonna go with cleated feet. And then of course you have his big old black cloak. And I love how they did that. It's removable. You just simply slip his arms through the holes right there. It's got a bendy wire. It's not a really strong bendy wire. And you can see underneath all the details, very much in that neck of vein of going the extra yards, really sculpting it out, really painting it out. Everything is painted on this guy. So again, it's another one of those nice works of art in the particular TMNT collection for your shelf. And just the face portrait itself and how it moves on the neck and how it moves with the cloak cape, it's nicely done. But just for the sake of articulation and showing it off properly, let's go ahead and ixnay this right there. And boom, you can swap out the heads. Easy peasy. Now the big thing I want to point out, first and foremost, is that the articulation on this is solid and I didn't have to heat up anything. And that is a nice refreshing thing to say when we talk about anything NECA Toys does, especially their TMNT lines, right? He has single jointed elbows. Now, one thing I wanted to point out is the wrists. The wrists, when you swap out any of the hands, they are very loose. They're not snug inside the peg, unfortunately. So that is one downside to this figure. However, when you use the gloves, those are solid. So those are big enough to fit in there and they don't get loose on you. The legs are nice. They'll kick out. They'll go off to the sides. Eh, you get about that much of a range. You got double jointed knees. And again, I love it. You can spin at the knee. You got rotation at the cleats. They go up and down. It's just really nice to say, you don't have to heat this guy up, right? That's what I've been saying more and more lately across all the companies, we'll just say. But with NECA in particular, my main rule every time you're handling a new Ninja Turtle figure or whatnot, always dunk them in the hot water and make sure you get them a going a proper. But what's fun is getting all these characters together like Frank and Raph. And of course, you have Casey Jones as the Phantom, which is very cool to see. Casey Jones and April O'Neil as the Bride of Frankenstein. Very cool. I actually like the way that these two look together. They complement each other very well, right? And then you have the Turtle Bros. Of course, like I said, Donnie as the Invisible Man is a coming. But they're really starting to form a nice collection on your shelf. A lot of these characters within the TMNT X Universal Monster line have been really we'll say hit or miss with me, don't get me wrong, but it just how the characters kind of mesh with their monstrous counterparts. The turtles are largely solid. Splinter is kind of the miss to me, followed by, we'll say, April O'Neil, but Casey Jones really works as the Phantom of the Opera. I didn't think it was gonna work, but it definitely does. And then just to kind of show you some other Casey Jones eye in my collection, you have the movie, you have the Mirage, you have this new one, which is kind of a pseudo movie TMNT line. And then of course the original Playmates, Casey Jones, which is totally nice to see. So a nice selection of Casey Jones in my collection. And yes, we do have a Donatello figure for scale as well. So we might as well wrap up this video nice and quick like ya hose brains. So. That will wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA toys from their TMNTX Universal Monster line, Casey Jones as the Phantom of the Opera. Very cool looking figure. Again, one of those figures where I saw the press photos and I was like, I love that it's TMNT, but does it work? It's kind of what I thought about Splinter and you've already heard my thoughts on that, but I was very surprised and I love what they did here with this Casey Jones figure. Despite having some loose wrists, overall, it's a pretty awesome figure. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything TMNT X Universal Monsters. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, when we finally get Donnie, I'm gonna be honest with you. We've got all these heroes, all these monsters mashed together. Well, now these monstrous heroes need some monstrous villains to fight. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.